Sandra, Holly Willoughby's mother-in-law, passed away, she said. The 42-year-old this morning host paid homage to her husband and Baldwin's mother on Instagram on Saturday after learning of her passing and thanked her for her guidance, advice, and bottomless prosecco. Sleep well, Sandra. Holly captioned a picture of the two of them lifting a drink in a smiling selfie. Mother, sister, friend, Nona knowing her was to understand power itself. After losing her husband, she raised four children, lost a son, and most recently, her sister. I appreciate your direction, counsel, an endless prosecco. I appreciate your help in raising the wonderful husband I have. Every day, I witness your courage in our kids. Enjoy peace. I adore you. Numerous Holly's friends expressed their sorrow, and Vanessa Feltz wrote, I am so terribly sorry to hear of Sandra's passing. She and I had such a wonderful talk. She radiated love, friendliness, and knowledge. Dan, I'm thinking about you and your entire family. Oh, darling, wrote Nicole Appleton. You all have my undying love. Sandra was just fantastic. Beautiful words for a truly beautiful and remarkable woman. Kate Thornton continued. I'm sorry she's not here with you anymore. I'm sending you my sincere sympathies. Craig Doyle, Holly's co-star on This Morning, expressed his sorrow over her passing. Warmest sympathies to Dan and the entire family. It happens only one day after Holly's brand Wild Moon made a post about intense emotions and moving forward in the midst of the ITV investigation into Philip Schofield's infidelity. Since Holly returned to anchor The Breakfast Show with a rotating cast of co-presenters after Philip's departure last month, she has managed to avoid the turmoil. In the midst of the ITV investigation into Philip's resignation, Wild Moon also posted a mysterious message about merging all thoughts and emotions on Monday. As a result of his admission that he had an unwise but not illegal connection with a considerably younger male colleague on this morning, Philip resigned from ITV. The first supermoon of 2023, and how it may give clarity on strong emotions, were the topics of a Monday Instagram post by Holly's company Wild Moon. Today's full buck moon is the first supermoon of 2023, it stated. You are encouraged to unite all of your ideas and emotions as the moon in Capricorn opposes the sun in Cancer. This alignment implies that strong feelings could bring about clarity and make clear the steps you need to take to proceed. Listen, take in, and love. The July full moon is known as the buck moon because it's when male deer also known as bucks, are growing their antlers to the fullest and most beautiful, the company noted in a caption, it's a period when bucks grow new antlers that get bigger and more spectacular with each passing year as they shed their old ones. After admitting to having an affair with a considerably younger male colleague on this morning, Philip resigned from ITV. Since Schofield left, this morning has been dogged by accusations of toxicity, including those made by the program's former resident physician Dia. Ranj Singh, who complained about bullying and discrimination and afterwards felt like he was managed out for speaking out.
It follows the revelation in the Mail on Sunday that a senior manager on Loose Women emailed ITV's top executives to express serious concerns about the well-being of the young guy who had an affair with Philip. Last month, ITV executives told MPs that they were not aware of any worries regarding the production assistant who co-worked with Philip on this morning when they were dating. The managing director for entertainment, Kevin Ligo, is said to have been aware of an email that expressed concerns about the man's well-being, according to insiders within the channel, according to the Mail on Sunday. ITV has a responsibility of care to him as a vulnerable employee, the email said. Mr. Ligo has no recall of it, according to those close to him. There was no formally initiated investigation. At a common select committee meeting where Mr Ligo and Dame Carolyn McCall, the CEO of ITV, were questioned about the controversy last month, there was no mention of this letter.